Man, doing this more than once, I must actually hate myself. Alright, so you deploy Orca here. And then after the orb, you can actually deploy Carmen. She could take the earthquake and be fine. After that, you deploy Yang. And then deploy Claudia at 249, spam the S1, and drop Evelyn. Now we wait. Hopefully with this setup, everybody will efficiently heal themselves, or and everybody else. Get Agnes onto the field as soon as possible, and pray that nobody dies. Evelyn is probably the most likely to die, but Claudia does has died a couple of times. So between 222 and 220, you want to back deploy your S2 and spawn Aegea. Hopefully this lines up the little mine that spawns back there so that the uh, soldiers take it instead of Carmen. That one right there. And hey, she died anyways, but that's okay. So you can redeploy Carmen. You do have enough DP that you can at least afford one three cost redeploy during this time. Then it's another waiting game. <laughs> you gotta pray everybody stays alive. We save the ship S1 and the Sigma deploy. Now I have seen people forward deploy Sigma immediately, um, but I feel like this is a bit safer. So we redeploy Sigma here, it rushes up. Sigma there will sit there and keep the ad pretty much uh, a good distance away that the earthquake doesn't hit your entire team and then it's just sitting there once you get to this point all you have to do is redeploy units before they die that will sit there and keep your uptime on heals at the maximum so pay attention to their HP bars redeploy them as needed not everybody's going to be able to, to survive the entire time Usually, Agnes and Carmen might die as well as Yang will be the first ones to sit there and perish. But you can sit there and redeploy them inside of AGS circles and things like that to sit there and maximize damage output. As you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and put Orca right back out there. She was close to dying. I didn't see a way for her to really stay alive. She might have survived, but I didn't want to take a chance on that. So we redeploy the S1 as soon as we can here, and then back deploy again for the the S2 on the ship. Another mine's gonna spawn back there. We want the soldiers trying to tank that instead of Carmen and Agnes, possibly. Once we get to this point, hopefully it just comes down to damage. And Orca's ulti, like, everything to keep Orca alive. Sigma has a very low chance of actually dying, but Orca can actually get killed. But as soon as you get this ulti off here, you, you're pretty much won. So, there's a lot going on here. We want to sit there and start off with Ministra, Lin Jian, and Nicole immediately because there's a, a zone there that's going to give them an invincibility and as well as refund your DP, which then you can play Esther Rosa. Then you play a Mina immediately and use your S2. Go ahead and drop Wardens here, and then just go ahead and start getting ready to redeploy Lingian. She's going to die, but you want to get her back out. The whole goal of this is deploy Amina, Lingian, and Esterosa as much as possible. Use Wardens and Twins to cycle, and Kurian and S2 on the ship to sit here and burst the boss. Now, just so you know, those DP zones will sit there and deploy at the very beginning, right where you saw it. Uh, the boss's second phase change, which is 65% or 60 seconds in. The third phase change, which is 40% HP or 100 seconds in. And then the last uh, phase change, which is 15% HP or 140 seconds in. So with those being the case, you want to sit there and deploy things in those zones or have units in those zones when they deploy so that you can get DP and keep spamming Amina. Amina is the key to this fight. We need to keep getting her out as much as possible. Like you see here with this zone, we deploy. Even though this is probably bad, they're getting a shield. 
So you don't have to sit there and worry about them dying right away. And then we redeploy Nicole to hope that she sits there and uses her special, lives long enough to use her special on this uh, on the mob. And then it's back to get getting Lin Jian back out since we just redeployed Amina. And now we want to sit here and set up for our second Vivian proc. So we're going to delay the Wardens just a little bit to give us time because we're going to have to get Amina back out for maximum damage here. And of course we're going to get another deployment zone right in front of the boss. So once we get Amina out, sit there and save for the S2. We're just waiting. We played the Linji in here. Get the twins out so we can get the deployment zone. Ulti will give us some iframes, so that's good. There's the deployment zone. We're going to sit here and abuse as much as we can. Get Amina back out for this burst. Use S2. Get the Linji in, Ulti. Pull out Kurian. And then just spam everything else and try to blow the boss up in this period. So, I'm definitely manually this this floor. I do not want to immediately lose after going through those last two floors. So, before we deploy Alex, we sit there and deploy our two Rangers and our two supports. We're going to have another deep zone there that sits there and spawns. So, we're going to take that time to redeploy Alex because we're playing it safe. Then, we're playing Gayun so that she sits there and stuns those adds. We want to sit there and yoink the sniper because that guy is super annoying. And then that'll also apply damage amp to the rest of everything else on the field. And then it's just about playing as safe as possible. Redeploy your healers when they're getting too low on HP so that there's no downtime on heals. Try to cycle back to Alex, but not not immediately, not as fast as you want. Or, you know, as you might think. Now, every time you reduces boss's HP by a bar, your whole team gets silenced. So you want to immediately try to start redeploying people, because you, you have, like you see I'm sitting at 10 DP, everybody's silenced. So now I want to sit there and start rotating if I can to try and get people unsilenced. Gayun is important because she brings damage champs and stuns. We got healers because they're important. Um, Rivet and uh, Resorum both have skills and ultis that we want to be able to use. We never, ever, ever use a Hori, except when we just, there's nothing really dying on the team, nobody's low, and we can just go ahead and, and waste some DP because why not? Especially right here where we get two TP zones uh, shortly. At that point, you'll have an entire team out with nothing better to do. So since they're all fresh and healthy, we just go ahead and deploy, get her out just to do some extra damage. She's going to die as soon as her shield's gone, but while she has it, she'll do a little bit of, you know, bonus damage, which is fine. And then we just sit here and again, play it safe. Use, use your skills as soon as possible. Have plenty of DP if anybody's getting low, because that you can just sit there and redeploy if needed. There we go, Volcano Floor 100 cleared. Can't wait for them to reset this. Woohoo! Yay! Welcome to How to Well Your Problems Away. I'm doing minus 25 for this stage, minus 30, and minus 25 for this stage. So this stage is probably only doable at the minimum on minus 30. After that, I really don't think it's possible, or at least you have to be absolutely insane to be doing this at 35. But 25 is doable reasonably. 30, you'll hate yourself after a while. 
So for the gear, this is honestly the, the place you want to put all your best stuff. Your 130 ship, a uh, fully level 100 operator, doesn't matter which one because you really can't proc anything anyways. And then all your best T7 plus 9 gear that you can plus 10 wherever. So for Orca, we're going just straight HP, HP, full tank, no playing around. CDR on Carmen. I put my best CDR gear on her. Uh, she She's rather tanky in itself, so that's fine um, to run something like this. But you honestly, her, her, her ult is probably the most important one. Yang, just CDR build as much CDR as possible. Same for Evelyn, though Evelyn, I would 100% give evasion. If Evelyn or Claudia die at the start, the run's pretty much over. You need to restart. These two have to survive. Sinjia is also CDR, but she has awakened stats, so we can get away with no ground res. Agnes, uh, I found Agnes to be my best CP with A speed. To be honest and i went anti-striker a speed just because the mob is a striker but it doesn't necessarily have to be that uh she actually gave more cp than uh rearm jaolin so that may not be the case for you and jaolin can replace agnes if the, she gives more cp than agnes sigma i just have on t7 full cdr gear for this room I have Vivian, and Vivian really makes this a lot easier, but we're basically just doing immortality spam. So CDR on Ministra, just whatever you can give her, some whatever. It honestly, it doesn't have to be CDR, just damage. She just needs a special at the start, and then that's it. You don't really redeploy her. Jalin, you want on Ace, or yeah, Ace Speed. CDR, 42 seems to be a decent number, so she doesn't have to be that crazy on CDR. You're going to be redeploying her a lot. Esterosa just put on full DPS gear. It really doesn't matter. We're just abusing her immortality anyways. Yumina, same thing. Full damage. Abuse the immortality. Twins, I went on ahead and put some tank gear on. You don't really deploy them all too much except as a quick, uh, you know, DP waste, I guess, at this point. Quick cycle. Nicole, CDR gear, attack, attack, or... Special damage amp. Wardens, uh, I just have on full T7 gear. They don't do a crazy amount of damage, but uh, might as well put the best gear you can on them. And then Warden, or yeah, Warden Curdian, you want on your best damage gear. Whatever you can afford. Uh, obviously, I have this Brita set. We just went ahead and went with that. For this, now uh, there are comps that do two tanks. I'm just doing a one tank, going slow and steady. Uh, I put relatively decent gear, on, tank gear on Alex with her EE. We went ahead and went with Brita A speed for Rivet. I got the stats here. Full CDR on Shinatsu. Doesn't really need tank per se, but she does definitely need a lot of CDR. Administrator Rifleman or OAR, we're going full anti defender ground damage. Gayun is the same, full anti defender A speed. And then we're going attack anti defender on Sorum, but you can obviously put any type of anti defender gear on her, whether it's A speed attack. CDR might work on uh, Sorum, but don't quote me. Oh, hey, I could have actually made my life a little simpler. Oh, well. Um, full CDR on Aureus. And then Horizon, uh, she's just filler. I deploy her once just because I have way too much DP anyways. She's just going to immediately die because she's in the air. And this, this game mode hates air units apparently. But I just went ahead and put my best uh, mech uh, A speed gear since I'm not using mechs anyways. Oh boy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering as I did that stage twice. Never again.
Well, apparently, never again until reset. I get to do a third time. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope this helps you clear Volcano 100 and get your title as well as your first time clear rewards. Uh, I will have a link in the description to my jungle guide as well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the channel if you feel like it. And I will see you all next time.